So I'm here again. Let me create or insert, get a test method, and I will just call this test the spark reduce method. Okay. And I will prefer to create a display name here. Display name and test reduce method in Spark. I mean Spark RDD because we are actually using the RDD. Now first I will create uh, the Spark uh, Java Spark context as we have been doing before. So I will just use the same thing here. So I will final war uh, Spark context and I will create new Java Spark because this is tribe with resources. So we can put it in this auto -close closable format and Spark Conf is put here. And now let's, okay, now let's do the Spark context dot parallelize because we have got this data already. This data that we are going to use for reduce function. So I will just use data first, okay. And uh, so you, you know that there is an overloaded method where we can actually pass the number of partitions that we want and uh, for this RDD to be created. But because if I do, don't provide any parameter here, it will take the local star, which is four partition by default, uh, or we can change it to say 10 or say 12 or whatever. This is the number of slices that we want. So we can also customize it. So let's try it without using it, okay? By the default four, the CPU number of cores, okay? Uh, okay, so I'll just use Control Alt V, and I will call this as my RDD. And I prefer to use Final War. Okay, Final War. You can go down and space some space. Okay. Uh, and now let's do one thing. Let's create Final. I will also like to uh, time it out at how much time it takes. For that, I will create an instant instant in java time and create a start here instant dot now okay and be, and uh, between this i will call this method and uh, multiple times and see that how much time it takes on average so i can do this for i and for i to zero i is less than say maybe 10 is good enough and i will do i plus plus okay so 10 times it will try to reduce this. So my RDD dot reduce. Okay. And I will just sum it. So whatever numbers that we have created here in data, like 1 million data size, we are going to reduce it to a single sum value, the sum of all the data inside this and reduce it to the one, one number, which is a sum. Okay. And uh, let me store it in the variable. So I will just use reduce as sum. Okay. Again, I always prefer to use final war. Okay. And I will just print it out multiple times. So system dot out println I will put it as spark rdd reduce and let's call it as sum here. Uh, I would prefer to use again some print f formatting because so that I can avoid all those string con concatenations. So just percent zero point two f. I just put it for two de de decimal places and then pass some. Okay. And once we have done this, okay. So Let's make it simple. I will just remove this and just use this because we want like uh, various uh, decimal numbers to be printed here. Where do you compare? Okay. After this, uh, because we are starting with the time here, we are going to have an iteration of 10 and taking an average of it. So let's create the time elapsed. So it would be long time elapsed. Is equal to I'll use duration dot between 
the start and the time now instant dot now and i will use it as to convert it into two millis first okay dot two millis and because we are doing it for 10 times right so i will divide it again by 10 so that we have the exit so i will just take the whole thing in bracket in this and then divide by 10 okay then it will be giving me at, at, at uh, for one but for the first time i mean for average of all these 10 operations and then we can just print out print it out again uh, okay and then i will just use this for printer reduce and then time taken percent d milliseconds right and i will just create some space here new line sorry and then time will lapse so guys let's revise what we have done so far so first of all we created uh, our spark comp object using the local star which means that it will be taking the uh, by default uh, number of CPU cores available. And then we created this data. Data is uh, a list of data which is containing 1 million of double random numbers uh, between uh, 47 to 147 around that. And uh, after that, we wrote our uh, our unit test where we are creating uh, the, our Spark context using the Spark conf object that is created here. In, in, uh, here. And after that, we actually call this parallelize method. Parallelize will use this data and create a java rdd containing the double and after that we we cal we did this uh, redu uh, reduction for calculating the sum of all this data and store it and print it and we do it uh, 10 times just to like calculate the that how much time it takes and for that we actually used instant uh, and the duration clauses in java.time and uh, because we're doing it 10 times to just take an average uh, i divide it by 10 and after that, we just print it out. So this is all about the unit test. And uh, let's run it now. And I'll just click on this run button. Or you can also run Control Shift F10. So normally it takes a little bit of time to initialize. So I'll just pause the video here. It's running now. So it will uh, expect it to print 10 times. So it is printing uh, some. Uh, for 10 times and then it will give me the average time taken for each sum in milliseconds okay so it has taken around 1.5 seconds 1.1.6 uh, seconds around so it takes this right now because we are using this parallelized method let me drop it down so this parallelized method right it is taking the default number of partitions of four if we can change it let's see whether to say 14 for example and let's run this again and whether see that whether there's any improvement in the performance so it's running now and sprinting the for 10 times okay so this time it took around one second previously it would took a, took around like 1.5 1.6 seconds so it means that there is some performance improvement if I am uh, changing the the default number of like slices from four to fourteen, for example, so this is something which you have. I mean, whenever it depends on the data size, right, or the number of CPU cores available uh, where you are running this, the number of CPU cores available in the in the data in the driver program or in the worker nodes where we are running all these Spark operations. So we have to do various type of uh, like, like experiments uh, to see that what is the optimal size of this number of slices on the data uh, for, the, for the data that we are going to uh, consume it or reduce or call some action on it so this is we have to like do it multiple times and see that what is the optimal number of slices required so guys this was all about the reduce uh, method uh, and in the next video we'll see the next very much similar like reduce would be the fold method so see you all in the next video